Hello everyone and welcome back to Somewhere in Montana. Um, I'm doing something pretty special today. Uh, I think it's pretty special. I got my wonderful wife with me. Um, we didn't bring a whole lot of big equipment with us, just the sluice, um, the wheelbarrow classifier and stuff. But yeah, this is a pretty unique place that not everyone gets to dig. And yes, I was granted permission by the owner to come down here and dig on his stripped bedrock. Um, I'll show you what we're doing. I'm not going to show too much of the surrounding area. Well, you can tell we are in a pit. And this ground has been stripped with equipment down to about a foot above the bedrock. Which could obviously be something pretty special so I don't know it should be some fine gold but here's what we're digging on sorry for the shaky camera there's the bedrock right there so there's that much material above it and yeah this ought to be good so we're just going to shovel up this time I'm going to run it all I'm going to run all this top layer and we're going to sweep off this bedrock down here and we're also running my uh, wheelbarrow classifier this stuff is not um, real sticking to the rocks it doesn't have a lot of clay in it it's real loose and super dry so there should be no problem running it on this quarter inch classifier all the fines go into the bottom there then we can scoop it directly into the sluice over here um, of course we're running my normal 8 foot sluice 2000 gallon hour pump uh, my homemade silicone mats and that's about it I got a valve up there so I can control the water flow and we're reverse feeding it and just dumping it in oh get some more dirt going here and see what kind of gold we can come up with today and the other reason we're running it this way today and not washing it up is we got to pack all of our water here so makes it kind of tough just going to recirculate it and see how much material we can run I can tell we are going to have a good day. Here's the material we ran. Maybe a five or a, maybe a wheelbarrow full of dirt, maybe. But look at the gold we cleaned out. Stay up here and try not to make it all blurry. That's some pretty nice gold. Nothing real huge. But hey, there's some nice flakes in there and lots of finds and I have got gold all over in this pan quite a bit of black sand in it so I didn't take a lot of time but yeah this is gonna be a good day so this is where we're digging over here and you can see the different shelves of bedrock the layers you got a layer here drops off comes down and around we got some real sandy material got some real rusty material but yeah, we haven't dug much dirt at all, you can tell. Here's our tiling pile back here of the oversized. So, oh, this is going to be a fun day if it doesn't get too blasted hot. Big old rock pile out here, and yeah, it's hot. And you can tell, nobody's dug out here since they had the equipment in here. So I'm feeling pretty dang lucky to be able to do this. This is really cool to do. Bedrock just crumbles when you hit it. Just real shaley stuff. So feeding the sluice this way is working really good. 
It's just got a pool of water back here. The water's just eating away the sand. That's working really well. And the mats, smooth as silk as always. So they're working really good. You can see the riffles in here, so you're not, you know it's not loading up. So everything's working good there. Um, she's just running another five gallon bucket of dirt here. Oh my gosh, you're almost done. That's yeah. only been, I'm eating. what? Uh, not even five minutes? Not very long. Cool. You got another three or four buckets in the wheelbarrow. The tailing pile's getting bigger. Okay, we went and got some fresh water. And get another clean out. And yeah, we're on the gold. It's pretty dang sweet. You're gonna have to drag me out of here. Even as hot as it is. Woo! But we've ran what? Another three buckets? With our clean water, so that makes a total of five, about nine or ten buckets, something like that. More dirt here. Doing another clean out after our five buckets. So, we're just about toast. Um, we get super hot, the wife's sitting in the car with the air conditioner running. So we're just about burned out. I don't know how much more we can do. I think we're at 13 buckets classified down to quarter inch. Okay. I'm going to run this last bucket of dirt, which will make us 14 buckets for the day, I believe. Well, we finally got all loaded up. It's getting on to evening time. But there's our minus quarter inch material pile. And we dug quite a little hole. And, yeah, when it's only a foot and a half or so down to bedrock, that's pretty neat. So that's a little hole there, and here's our oversized over here. So most of the rocks are pretty clean. Yeah, we missed a little dirt, but oh well. Um, I'm gonna take that material home for my uh, concentrates and get them cleaned out. We did pretty doggone good for the amount of dirt we moved. So anyway, I'll meet you back at the house. Well, we made it back. Um, I got the gold all cleaned up today, uh, pooped. But uh, I don't think we did too dang bad for just sticking a shovel in the ground, not doing any test panning or anything like that. So, yeah, I still got the mold, my mold sale going on to make the one ugly silicone sluice box mat. Uh, we got those on eBay still. But anyway, I hope to get back over there and give that a try again. Maybe do some test panning, spend a little more time. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye now.